What's up my piano friends? Zach Evans here and today I'm going to show you three absolutely gorgeous chord progressions that even a complete beginner could learn. The pop progression, the emotional progression, and the catchy progression. They'll help you learn literally hundreds of your favorite songs while at the same time learning some music theory basics and building up some finger strength and dexterity on the keys. I'm going to have a nice little cheat sheet to make it as easy as possible on you and make sure you stick around to the end for the muddy patterns. Simple rhythmic patterns that really bring these progressions to life. All right, I'm excited. Let's get started. All right, so first up is the pop progression, and here's what the finished product is going to sound like. So it has this very poppy sound to it, and it's used in tons of songs on the radio. All right, so our first chord is C major, so G, C, E. By the way, this is technically an inversion of a C major chord, but don't worry about that for now. Just know it's the notes G, C, and E. Next up, we have a G major chord, so the notes G, B, D. Third, we have an A minor chord, so A, C, E. And finally, an F major chord with the notes A, C, F. So all together, they sound like this. Now, don't worry about memorizing these for now. They'll all be on the cheat sheet for you. Then with our left hand, we just play the root note of every chord. So for our C chord, we play a C. Then for our G chord, we play a G. A minor chord, we play this A. And F chord, we play this F. So your left hand just goes C, G, A, F. All right, so all together, it looks like this. Now, if you're having trouble getting these hands together or getting smooth, fast chord changes, later on in this video, we're gonna talk about using the added chord method to take care of that once and for all. But first, let me show you some of the popular songs you can play using this progression. So first, we can play Forever Young. Forever young, I wanna be forever young. And if we play these exact same chords using a money pattern, and we'll talk about money patterns later in this video, we can play Cruise by Florida Georgia Line. Baby, you a song, you made me want to roll my windows down and cruise, yeah. Or we can play Hey Soul Sister. Hey Soul Sister, I don't want to miss a single thing you do. There are literally hundreds of these songs you can play with just this one pattern. And later on, I'm going to show you where to get the full list of songs. But first, let me show you the next chords on the list, the emotional progression. Now, this would actually be a great time to go download the cheat sheet that'll give you all these chords, the top songs you can play with them, plus all the money patterns we're going to talk about later on in this video. So click the link now. It'll take you to this page. Enter your name and email. Hit submit, and you'll go to the bonuses page where you can click here to download the cheat sheet and there's some other resources down below we'll use later on so get your cheat sheet now and i'll see you back here in a few seconds all right so if you look on your cheat sheet this second progression is called the emotional progression because it really has that tug on your heartstrings feel to it here's what the final product is going to sound like So it has this very deep emotional sound to it, and it's used in a ton of sad songs that you hear on the radio. I'll give you the list in a bit. And the great part is this progression actually has the exact same chords as our first progression, just in a different order. So first we have our A minor, then F, then C, and then G. And again, our left hand is just going to play the root note. So it's just going to play A, F, So all together, it's going to look like this. All 
And like I said, this is used for a ton of sad pop songs, like All of Me, Apologize, Say Something. Here's what it sounds like once we add in some money patterns. What would I do without your smart mouth Drawing me in and you kicking me out I'm holding on your rope, got me ten feet off the ground Say something, I'm giving up on you Whoa and again, there's a whole list of these songs, and I'll show you later on where to get the full list. But first, let me show you the final progression, the catchy progression. And by the way, if you like this video so far, if you could smash that like button, I would really appreciate it. All right, so if you look at your cheat sheet, the third progression here is the catchy progression. Now, sometimes I call this the car ride progression because it's used in those catchy songs that sound good while you're just cruising along in your car. And guess what? We're gonna use the exact same four chords as the other patterns, just in a different order. So first off, we have our F major chord, then C major, then G major, and then A minor. And of course, our left hand just plays the root note of each chord. So F, C, G, A. So all together, it's going to sound like this. And you can play a whole bunch of songs with this progression. For example, If I die young, bury me in satin, lay me down on the bed of roses. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Now we got bad blood, now we got bad blood. All right, so remember, if you're struggling to get hands together coordination or fast, smooth chord changes, you're going to want to fix that using the added chord method. Now, the instructions for that are going to be in a separate video on the bonuses page. So if you go to the same page you downloaded the cheat sheet, right below it is going to be the video for the added chords method, and it'll walk you through a simple step-by-step -step process to get these chords rock solid confident in your fingers so that you can play them on autopilot without even thinking about them. All right, next up, we're gonna cover some simple money patterns that really bring these progressions to life. But first, if you like this style of teaching where I give you the cheat sheets and the bonus videos and everything to make piano as dirt simple as possible for you, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications. I'd hate for you to miss out on a future video that could really eliminate the confusion in your piano journey. So money patterns are simply playing the exact same notes you just learned in different rhythms to make these progressions pop. So for example, if we take our first progression, C, G, A minor, F, we can play these exact same notes using a different pattern, for example. Or, Or, so the exact same notes we just learned, but all with different rhythms for the notes. Now, there are six of these that I use all the time when I play. There's two beginner ones, two intermediate ones, and two advanced ones. This video is getting a bit long though, so I'm just gonna put those as separate videos on the bonuses page as well. So if you go back to the same page you got the cheat sheet, and you scroll down past the added chord method, past the cheat sheet, you'll see down here we have our beginning money patterns, our intermediate money patterns, and our advanced money patterns. And these are full videos that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to implement these money patterns. And finally, at the bottom of the page, you'll see this link that's called Full List of Songs. And if you click this link right here, you'll be taken to this Wikipedia page. And if you scroll down, you'll see this absolutely giant list of songs down at the bottom of the page. Now this column over here labeled progression gives you the Roman numeral code for each song. And if we click these arrows here, it's going to sort this entire list by the progression. And so as you can see, all of these songs here have the Roman numeral progression one, five, six, 
4. And if we go to our cheat sheet, we'll notice the pop progression has the chords 1, 5, 6, 4. So that matches up, which means any of these songs on the list, we can play using our pop progression 1, 5, 6, 4. And there's absolutely a ton of these. So once you take the time to learn this video, you literally have like a hundred songs right at your fingertips. And if we keep scrolling down, eventually this will change the progression 4, 1, 5, 6. And guess what? That matches up with the catchy progression 4, 1, 5, 6, which means any of these songs that say 4, 1, 5, 6, we can play any of these songs using the catchy progression that we just learned. And if we keep scrolling, we eventually find 6, 4, 1, 5, which guess what matches up with the emotional progression 6, 4, 1, 5. Five, which means we can play any of these songs with the chords in the emotional progression. So now once you learn just these three progressions, you will have hundreds and hundreds of songs right at your fingertips. All right, so one final easy cool tip for you that you can add to these progressions is you can play these progressions anywhere on the keyboard and as long as the notes line up, it's always going to sound good. So for our first progression, even though we started playing it here, we can also play the same notes here or here, or here. As long as the notes line up, it's always going to sound good. So that way you can add a ton of different feels to the same progression very easily without even really learning any new notes. All right, I know I just threw a ton of info at you, but don't worry, it's nice and organized step-by-step step on the cheat sheet and bonus video. So if you haven't got that yet, here's the link again. Make sure you get it because it's going to help you a ton in learning these progressions fast. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Peace out and happy practicing.